interesting book around here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of right wingers would read it too, but you know. Do you know the easiest way to get people to tell you their dark secrets is to tell tell them some token dark secrets of your own, and then pretty soon people they'll... People are just a bunch of shit bags and fucking expose them, you know what I mean? Yeah. It hurts the movement. <laughs> what movement? I have a great shit every morning. Uh, should I have a coffee or tea, Keith? I'm in the kitchen. My phone is in the kitchen. I want coffee or tea or both. I oh, want... shit. Yep. I've got this coffee from Vietnam. I swear I can taste the Asian orange. I know Katie bought some of that. Mm. They give it away. Very, you know? It's very unimpressive coffee. I know, but, but I, I had to read up Vietnamese coffee. They have a whole different thing they do with it. It's more like Thai iced tea. They want sugar, milk, and a little bit of coffee flavor. They don't want it strong and flavorful the way we do it. Yeah, it's not strong at all. It's like such weak coffee. Yeah. yeah. Well, where's coffee? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and... Um, Thanks, Katie, for not knowing anything about coffee, but oh well. No, I've seen her buy you decent coffee. It's a nice, uh, it was a nice gesture, but... Oh, and my last coffee, right before I went broke, went for broke, was the Portland Roasting Coffee organic dark Sumatra fair trade so I've got I've got an idea for for um tobacco I want to do tobacco getaways for people that still think smoking tobacco is important and give them like a tobacco vacation where they can be a part of a fair great fair trade tobacco <laughs> farm and it's gonna be like an eco tourism <laughs> expensive tobacco getaway Okay. And American Spirit is going to take it up to the next level because they've already got natural and they've got organic, but now they're going to go organic, fair trade, like Coachella, like a big posh tobacco resort. Because tobacco is such an old school relic. I mean, it's like sugar. It makes, or coffee or chocolate, all of it's like exploited labor. Oh, yeah. And berries. Berries are picked with child labor in the state of Washington. It's like they say, there's no ethical consumption under capitalism. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good. You know who blocked me on Twitter today? Do I know what the only ethical consumption is? What's that? Eating pussy and ass. Okay, um... <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Jo uh, Build with Joe blocked me on Twitter today, and I'm the one that helped him realize he was being blocked by Amanda Fritz. Now he blocks me. Who so, was that? J Build with Joe. He's the guy who said that Amanda Fritz voted on the highway thing that ended up causing her husband to die. He kind of blamed Amanda Fritz for killing her husband indirectly due to her votes on something to do with roads and highways. But he was he's a school teacher who um, was the teacher of the chick who got killed on Hawthorne Fall and Smart. And he also sued, sued in like Oregon Supreme Court or something for being forced to move during a 2004 protest. And he got the judge to issue a ruling on the fact that you don't have to move unless there's a crime going on. That the whole concept of like making people march down the road if they're not moving and micromanaging them is completely like wrong and a violation of their rights. But he, I just sent him one Lisa Muggeridge tweet, and then he blocked me completely after he had sort of, like, disclosed his court case last year. And he was the one who noticed Amanda Fritz relapsing her British accent on the day they were doing the beatdown for the police contract. Yeah. But I, I think it might just be his phone, or he thinks I'm a pest or something. I don't know what's his problem. But it caused me to look at his messages more carefully, because sometimes when people block you or delete their... I thought when they delete the account, like, for instance, when Katie deleted her account, I lose all my messages to her. And so I was looking at my messages with him, and then I just deleted some that I thought were unimportant and published other ones that were kind of interesting. Because I don't think anything's private. People are stupid. Like, in Power Portland, now they're all under my radar, basically. Like, who are these gatekeepers that want to talk about Sam Resnick, but when you uh, and tell Eli to do his homework on Sam Resnick, like, like he's like some fucking 
notorious whatever. You know. Yeah. I actually told them like that's pretty derailing and total bullshit and like maybe you need to do your homework, you know. I was told by the Confederacy like, people to talking, do my homework on the Confederate about, flag. Talking about fucking um Sam Resnick. Sam Resnick. I'm, someone's talking about I said, you know, talking about Sam Resnick when um someone's talking about Terry Bean is like talking about Adolf Hitler when you're discussing German German history or the Nazis, you know? Okay, so what about, um, who's the dude who meth contaminated? Mark Jolin. Mark Jolin. Head of the Joint Services, Homeless Services of Multnomah County and Portland City. Okay. Mark Jolin. And, um, he formerly was the head of Join. Join. He's been like, you know. Yeah. Making money off the backs of homeless people for fucking 20 years or more. Huh. Exploiting them as a resource to get a $100,000 job, you know? Okay, that's Joint Office of Homeless Services. Huh. Did you see that Dennis Therio has a job with Multnomah County now, the old reporter? I found that really curious. I think Deborah Kufuri is going to run for mayor eventually. Just not yet. Maybe once Ted Wheeler like, commits career suicide or moves on to governor if we let him. Well, she could probably win it. She's a woman and that's all you need in this town. It's yeah. like, whoa, uh, he's just so smart and fucking... Rape fantasy mags and all kinds of shit, huh? Who did what? Chloe Daly used to sell. Yeah, oh my god, thanks for pointing uh, that out. What was that creepy uh, white supremacist who spoke at Chloe's she Daly's she bookstore? Rape man comics. Oh my god. Rape man? That's gross. Do you know about Rape Man, though? No, well, is that the guy you sent me? The He's a hero in Japan, Rape Man. Oh, yeah, 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 like creepy old. Oh, do you know about that? No, no, I don't. Tell, tell. Look it up, and you'll find a ton of shit about it. It's a, it's this guy, right? And he's basically, like, called in as, like, a mercenary rapist to rape people's lives when they're having, like, marital issues. Oh, or whatever, you know? That is like, so oh, terrible. Rape your, rape your wife, then she'll, turn, then she'll, like, turn from the woman who asserted too many rights to the, the blathering... You know. Which is almost like a, a turning on, on its head of the cock concept. So that just shows how like funny Portland progressive bullshit is. Like all fake. Like I'll just like elect people that hang out with child molesters. Fucking used to sell rape, pro rape comics and fucking smut mags and yeah. Let's hire this. Smut peddler is our fucking feminist warrior princess or whatever, you know? And where is uh, Dan Rather when you need him? He could do, like, Pornland Part 2. And But I, I... Okay, somebody's behind the Harvey Weinstein takedown. You know who's behind it or, or supporting of it is the pharaohs. The pharaohs are out to deal with Woody Allen. So Woody Allen... Is just like he's like a secondary prize right now in that Weinstein takedown, and uh, I saw Ronan linking to it, Ronan Farrow, but I no, think he won't get taken down. Uh, well, well, because Woody Weinstein. Allen was basically he's forced to. He's a... tied in with all the process church of final. Woody death. Allen is a Polanski supporter who was forced to get more severe against Harvey Weinstein, even though he denies even raping his own daughter, as she like explained he did in their attic. So. He's uh, Larry Flint. Is that what you're talking about? Um, the, the, I think it's like his adopted daughter, or it was Mia's daughter, and he was the stepdad, and he was like molesting the 11 year old, not the one he married, not the young Asian chick. Oh, you know about that dirt about, um, one second here. Um, 
Larry Flint, you know about him? 